In this demonstration, we're going to talk about the one-off training feature. So under the training section, we have a feature called the one-off trainings. Now, if you're looking to actually assign out your trainings on a schedule and uh, trigger those tasks to your users, that is actually housed under your view training section. So if you're looking to actually make your trainings assignments out, you would pop into your view training section to make your assignments out and trigger that task to their home page. However, what the one-off trainings is used for is it does trigger their training to be completed immediately regardless of their current status. So what a good example of this is used for is if you had an incident on site and a user wasn't wearing their gloves or hand protection, for example, and you wanted to force everybody to retake the hand training lesson because you had a hand incident where someone wasn't wearing their uh, gloves or you wanted to push personal protective equipment or both. Um, so the one-off feature is great use case for that. So under the training section, you're going to see this one-off trainings here and you'll go into the assign option underneath your name. And then here you get to choose the topics that you want to assign out to your user or users. So in this case, if I did want to kind of assign out a personal protective equipment, I would have to have that topic obviously housed in here in this case. My site doesn't have it, so I'll use a couple of different others as an example. We'll do back safety and confined space. I know it doesn't apply in this situation, but let's just pretend it's back safety and hand safety, or excuse me, hand safety and PPE that we're pushing out. And then you can either leave it as is, and if you click assign, it would assign to all your users that are active in your site under your employee section. Otherwise, if you want to toggle it to certain users, you can just select their name in the drop down or as well add conditions here to say if it's their building is North building, then we're going to assign it to those people accordingly. Um, so now you can see it changed from one user to two users that it would send to. In this case, I'm just going to assign it out to myself and go ahead and click the assign button. And now I have an option on my profile here on my homepage to take that back safety and confined space permit awareness. Um, just note, if they ever make these completions ahead of time, so for example, if I made this date uh, November 1st, for example, and said that I completed it, or even November 6th, it still wouldn't mark it complete because it's assigned as a one-off and basically they need to take it on November 8th as the completed date or after before it will mark it complete. Otherwise, it will stay in red and still say that they're due until you add that completion date of November 8th or later. Um, so very important if you're seeing it's not marking it complete, that's kind of why it's triggering that way. We try to put a one-off in the options to tell you hey, that's why it's happening this way, because you're assigning it now and it needs to be due now. So if they did complete it ahead of time, it's not going to allow that completion. You need to cancel that uh, one-off training and then reassign it under view trainings instead. Um, otherwise, if they take it that date or after, totally works great as a one-off training, just a one and done, gets them assigned immediately regardless of the last time they took it and a great feature in case you need to push topics out regardless of when they last completed the topic. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at kpaehs.com.